Hello, Harry Potter fans. Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel, where we are a community of collectors. Today, we are opening up the second lessons theme box from the Wizarding Trunk. As you can see, they rebranded the box again, and I like this one better because there's more to look at. Different icons floating around, there's some magical stamps, magical registration department stamped this box. There's some feathers floating around. Here in the center it says the Owlry, and it was indeed delivered by the Owl Post. And inside the box are fragile items. This is a fragile, magical, fragile delivery. Now, I'm not sure what these two lessons are. So for each of the lesson boxes, the Wizarding Trunk is doing a well-known class or lesson. Last box, we saw Herbology and Ancient Runes. So I am excited to see what is inside of this box. I'm not sure what two lessons are in here. I did see a spoiler for the next box. One of the lessons is Care of Magical Creatures. Here we go. Lesson box number two. On the inside of the box, it says bi-monthly subscription. The Wizarding Trunk does an every other month box, but come this holiday season, which is 2020, they are releasing a quarterly special edition subscription, starting with their 2020 Christmas box. So four times a year, we'll see a special edition box with that subscription. For information, check the link down below. All right, this is, yep, it's the information sheet, so we're not gonna look at that side, but we are gonna look at this side. Dear Witch or Wizard, Greetings from the Ministry. Enclosed you will find your license for independent wizarding travel. Given that you have taken and completed the 12-week apparition course, received your certificate of completion, and paid all applicable fees, your license has now been issued. The license may appear blank, however, please do not attempt to fill in any witch or wizard information other than your own. Please keep in mind this license is only valid for a single wizarding travel. If you wish for other witches and wizards to travel with you, you must test and upgrade to a side along license. Okay, so apparition is one of the courses in this box. Very cool. Now that's probably a lesser known course, so I'm curious to see what the well-known course is going to be. There is a purple envelope here with a Owl Post wax seal on the back, gold wax seal. Looks kind of like a Quick Spell Co. envelope. Oh, okay, so this is the, the license. The License for Independent Wizard Travel, or Apparition, and it is a wood bookmark. On the back, it has the Wizarding Trunk logo, and there are spots to add your name, your wand wood and core, your signature, the, the wizard who issued the license. Very fun, so this is my apparition license. All right, there are lots of schnigglies in here and there is a little box. Let's see what's inside the little box. A jar, probably a candle. Quidditch and apparition, those are the lessons that are in this box. Or it'd probably be flying lessons, not necessarily Quidditch lessons. This candle is called the pitch and the scent is fresh air, flying, sweet grass, and dandelion. Oh, it's a nice color. It smells very fresh. It smells like fresh laundry. Maybe some lavender mixed in there. Very nice, fresh smell, and it is a woodwick candle. On the top, there's some decorative filling and glitter, and it is a blue, what well, looks like a blue candle. I'm slightly color deficient, so it could be purple, but to me, it looks blue. All right, let's get rid of some of these schnigglies here. All right, we've got a little pouch, a little green pouch, and inside the little green pouch is, now that's interesting. This is McGonagall's brooch. There's, is this a magnet? No, it's not a magnet. I don't want to break it. What does this say? There's a little information card. Let's read the information card first. Um, so I'm assuming that this has to do with Harry flying in flying lesson and then McGonagall seeing him. Honestly, how did you two manage to transfigure her brooch, so McGonagall's brooch, into a holder for a non-magical cellular phone? Oh! <laughs> well, you two better figure out how to put it back right before she finds out. And before you ask, no, I am not doing it for you signed H or Hermione. Oh, I don't know what these are called. Pop sockets? No, it's not a pop socket. One of those phone holder things where you attach it so there's a 3M sticker on the back and you attach it to the back of your phone and it helps you hold your phone better. Very, very cool. So it's McGonagall's brooch in whatever those phone holder things are called. Very clever to use McGonagall's brooch as a phone holder. Ooh. If you saw the last lesson unboxing, you know what this is. I'm gonna save this for last, and we're gonna go and open this up. Looks like a drink holder of some sort, like a, a pop can holder. 
Oh, wait, maybe flying is not the lesson because this it's transfiguration and flying or apparition. <laughs> it's one of those two. But transfiguration is the well-known lesson because here we have a can cozy. You put it around a pop can or something and it has different icons on it. So there's a rat and there's a broken wand and there is a half rat, half cup and a spell book. So this is to represent in transfiguration where Ron transfigures his rat into a water goblet, but his wand was broken, so it didn't fully take, so it was half rat, half water goblet. And that would explain the brooch better. It still would have fit with flying because of the whole McGonagall finding Harry on a broomstick when he shouldn't have been sort of a thing, but now it makes even more sense. So transfiguration and something else. All right, we have a pin. Oh, this is cool. It's interesting that they chose to do this and this because this is that goblet I was just talking about. So half rat, half goblet, and it is a pin. Beautiful pin. It almost looks like a, a hammered nickel or something, but it has a nice texture to it. And then there is a little tail coming out of the, uh, the goblet there. And it is a double clasp. So it is a very heavy pin. And then on the pin back itself, it says one, two, three. And then we know Ferverto is the spell to transfigure an animal into a water goblet. All right, there is a, another box here. Let's see if we can figure out which of the two, apparition or flying, it is apparition. Because this is essence of Dittany. So we know that in Harry Potter, oh, this is gorgeous. All right, let's talk about Essence of Dittany quickly before we dive into this potion. We know in Deathly Hollows, Ron, Harry, and Hermione all apparated from the Ministry of Magic to escape, and Ron was splinched. And splinching is when you apparate somewhere, something goes wrong, you lose a limb, or half your body is somewhere else. But Ron had some flesh missing, and Hermione used Essence of Dittany to heal it. On the potion it says, Dittany, a powerful healing herb used in many healing potions. This herb can can be consumed raw, but is not nearly as effective as when used in potion making. Look at this gold wax on top with the, the D stamp, so for Dittany. It was bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Lovely label, liquid on the inside with some pebbles and that Dittany herb floating inside. The Wizarding Trunk has really stepped up their potions. They are really looking impressive. So it's interesting that we have a candle called the pitch, unless they did three things. Maybe they did flying, apparition, and transfiguration. But let's see if we can find out. Okay, I think they did, because we have a do-it-yourself broomstick servicing kit. So it's a little notebook, and it's white horns do-it-yourself broomstick servicing kit, notes volume one, and it's a notepad. So it's a little notepad here, and there's some high quality broomstick polish, do-it-yourself broom care maintenance, I'm not sure what this is, but it smells like charcoal. I don't wanna like use it until we know exactly what it is. Then there's a little pouch inside with a keychain. And the keychain says exclusive broomstick servicing kit. And it's a little compass keychain. So there's a compass that shows north, south, east, west. And there's a broomstick on it that is pointing towards northeast. And the bag itself is also branded and says do it yourself broomstick servicing kit. I'm curious to see, oh here, let's look on the bottom. Detox face soap. Okay, so it is activated charcoal, simply earth essential oils of tea tree, lavender, and lime. And it is paraben and sulfate free, made by Alchemy for the Skin. A very fun little kit. All right, there are two items left. One of them is that book cover made by Danny. And this art print is Transfiguration. And it is on a black piece of cardstock. It says lesson seven at the top, and it shows you how to cast this transfiguration charm. To cast this spell, tap the animal three times, one, two, three, say the incantation, ferverto, and use the wand movement. Caution, this spell is only to be used on animals. When attempting this on other objects or humans, the results will be subpar. Very important. Items needed, animal of choice, a wand, and a level surface. I don't always love art prints that come from subscription boxes, but this one is very cool. It's understated, and I like the black card sock. It just looks very interesting and fun. All right, last but certainly not least is 
the book cover. If you didn't see the previous unboxing, the previous lesson unboxing from the Wizarding Trunk, in this new lesson box theme that they're currently in, they are doing book covers for the first American edition books that are spell books, basically. So the previous one was this here, Ancient Runes. These book covers are being created by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. Definitely check him out on YouTube if you haven't already. But I'm excited to see what the second lesson box book cover is going to be. It's going to fit Chamber of Secrets, so I have it here ready to go. You guys get to see it before me. Oh, it's upside down. But I think it says Transfiguration! <gasps> we have a trans... Holy cow. <laughs> Look at the inside flaps. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, the Complete Guide to Transfiguration. Changing charms, spells, and switching. Oh my word, this is beautiful. Okay, if a Niffler saw the two book covers, they would definitely go for Transfiguration. Look at like the age on the edges. Okay, let's get it on the book. This is very exciting. Now, if you don't know how to put these book covers on, what you wanna do is lay it flat, find the center of the spine as best you can, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the book up, fold the flap in. Not gonna make any creases just yet, because we may need to adjust the book cover. Flip it around and do the same on this side. Now, we're gonna make sure that the spine is nice and straight before we make those creases. That looks pretty darn good to me. So then what you can do is tuck this in and create a crease down here and then flip it over on this side and do the same thing. And voila, we have Transfiguration, a Transfiguration textbook. This is gorgeous. I think I said it in the previous video, I'm gonna have to get another set of first edition Harry Potter books and display these because, I mean, they look great spine out, but you almost want to display them like cover out. Like this is just fantastic. I mean, I cannot say enough about Danny's work. It's phenomenal. Now you may be asking, where do I get the first American edition books? You can find them used for very inexpensive. Now you don't need them in nice condition because all you're going to be doing is putting a beautiful dust cover on the book and displaying it. So they don't have to be brand new books. Look on eBay and buy a cheap set or buy the books that you need. To, to use for these, these book covers. Now for each of the boxes, the Wizarding Trunk is going to release a book that fits one of the seven American edition hardcovers. So the next cover will fit Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Now these book covers are only available from the Wizarding Trunk. Now you may be saying, uh, Peter, the first box and now this second box is already sold out. How on earth are we going to be able to get a set? Well, the folks at the Wizarding Trunk have told me that they are for sure releasing re prints of book one and two. But the only guaranteed way to get the full set, if you want the full set of book covers, is to subscribe. So you have to subscribe in order to get these book covers. But they did guarantee me that they will be printing book one and two. So for those of you who did not know that these book covers were going to be in this subscription box, you will have an opportunity to purchase those to complete your set. Again, if you want to subscribe and get these book covers, check the description down below. Man, these are absolutely fantastic. All right, let's take a look at the information sheet. Okay, so it was three lessons, Transfiguration, Flying, and Apparition. The first item was the Transfiguration book cover. This is the second of the seven exclusive book covers in the series created for us by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. Make sure to subscribe to ensure that you collect the complete series. Reusable Coffee Sleeve. Designed for us by J.P. Mistlecrow, this reusable coffee sleeve is great for your travel mugs and coffees from your favorite coffee shops. You never have to use a disposable coffee sleeve again. All right, so this will fit a coffee cup. I'm not sure if it will fit a can. Rat Goblet Pin. Transfigured Brooch Phone Holder. How did you manage to transfigure the professor's brooch into a non-magical telephone holder? She will not be happy. Transfiguration number seven, print. Created for us by J.P. Missile Crow. Independent Wizarding Travel Bookmark, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive, Dittany Leaves Bottle. The most notable use for Dittany Leaves is the essence of Dittany Healing Potion. Bottled for us by Pure Blood Apothecary. Okay, so this isn't Essence of Dittany, as I said earlier. It's Dittany, which is the ingredient for the Essence of Dittany potion. So it's an ingredient, not uh, necessarily a potion. The pitch. This candle smells of flying, fresh air, 
Sweet Grass and Dandelion. This candle was created by Inflamare Candles. Do-it-yourself broomstick servicing kit pencil case. Also, broomstick servicing kit notepad. Broomstick servicing kit clip on compass. This compass clips easily onto your broomstick or your keys. And finally, high quality broomstick polish. This tin was designed in house and the detox face wash was created for us by Alchemy for the Skin. Finished using the face wash? Display this tin on your flying shelves. So those were the 12 items in this three lesson, lesson edition box. All right, let's look at favorites and least favorites. You all know what my favorite is gonna be, probably for all future boxes, most likely. Look at that thing. I mean, come on, look at all that gold foiling. Look at the inside flap. Oh my goodness. Incredible work, once again, by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. So this aside, my favorite is the potion ingredient, the Dittany potion ingredient. This is an absolutely stunning piece right here. Decorative, it'll look great on your magical shelves. I love the wax seal on top. The whole thing just screams potion and magic. There's even glitter mixed into the liquid itself. This is one of the best potion ingredients that I've seen come out of the Wizarding Trunk box. My next favorite item, even though I wouldn't use it because I don't use these, is the brooch phone holder. I think this is so clever, such a clever idea. I love the little story that the Wizarding Trunk came up with to, to go with this, this phone holder, you know that it was transfigured into a phone holder using uh, Professor McGonagall's brooch. So although I don't use this because I've got long fingers, I don't need a phone holder. I have a phone holder attached to me. So although I wouldn't use it, it's very clever and definitely one of my favorite items. I don't really have a least favorite, but if I had to pick something, it would be the coffee holder, just because I wouldn't use it. It's not poorly made. Uh, the design of it clearly tells you what it's supposed to represent. Again, I just wouldn't use it. So if I had to pick something, it would be this. What about you guys? What were your favorites? What were your least favorites? Let me know in the comments down below. Once again, I wanna talk about the book covers because I received a lot of messages and comments about this one right here and how you guys can collect them yourself. The only way to collect them is by subscribing to this new lesson theme with the Wizarding Trunk. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the Wizarding Trunk did confirm to me that they are releasing the first two. For those of you who did not subscribe in time or did not know, that these book covers would be in each of these boxes. So you will have an opportunity to purchase these two if you're looking to have a complete set. If you want to subscribe, check the description down below, and there is also a coupon code, which is keep collecting 10 and that will save you 10%. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or Harry Potter collecting, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?